In this video, I'm going to go over the different ways that you can add or edit the HTML code of your WebStarts website. While we work hard to develop the tools to avoid having to do so, you may end up needing to add some sort of tracking code, third-party app embed, or even edit the existing code of the page. So having that ability may be important to you. Let's get started. Go ahead and edit the page. And from the editor view, go ahead and click Edit, followed by Edit HTML. This should open up a warning message. This warning message is just to serve as a reminder that when editing the existing code of the page, you may introduce problems to it, especially if you lack a clear understanding of what you're adding or changing. This is an advanced feature, and as such, it's always suggested that you test any changes to the code on a dedicated test page first, before then applying it to the live pages of the site. Once you're comfortable, go ahead and click Yes to continue. From here, you'll need to decide what it is you're wanting to do. The choices you have are paste code, view source code, view site head, and then view page head. We'll start with the paste code tab. This is what you'd choose most often if you're adding any new code to the body of the page. For this example, let's go ahead and embed a YouTube video. Let's head over to YouTube where I have one of our videos pulled up already. If I want to embed this, I'll click the share link, followed by embed, review the options here once I'm happy with those. Copy this code, head back over to the paste code window, paste it, and then click OK. As you can see, that drops it on the page. I can save it, view it live, and there's my video. Now, this is just one example uh, that you can embed onto the page. Uh, you may be embedding third-party forms, third-party widgets, uh, of course, videos. Um, this is just an example of how you can do so. Let's go ahead and back, head back into the edit HTML code to review the other options. The second option we'll talk about is the view source code tab. This is what opens up by default when editing the HTML code of the page. This is probably the one you will use the least as there aren't many reasons to have to edit the existing code of the site. However, should you need to do so, you have that option. Keep in mind that this is the code for the body of the page only. The header and footer code are not included in this area. Just scroll through the code. You can use the search tools here to search for something specific. Once you've found it, make the changes, followed by clicking OK, and that will change the code on the page. Now remember, I want to stress again how important it is to do so on a test page. Uh, you don't want to jump in there to the live site, a live page on the site, uh, and start making changes without really knowing how that's going to affect the live site. Uh, it's much easier to do so on a test page. Make sure you're happy with it and then move those changes over to the live page. Let's go ahead and jump back into the edit HTML code. And we'll talk about the third and fourth options, which are going to be a bit more advanced in nature as they're used most frequently to add administrative functionality to the site. Things like site verification script or third-party tracking code is most often going to be added within the head tag of the site. Where the paste code and view source code options are used for editing the body of the page, these two will be used when adding code to the head of the page. Now you can choose to add code to the head of the entire site using the view site head option, or on a page by page basis using the view page head option. Normally, when adding the code, you'll be given pretty clear instructions on where to add it. For this example, I'll be adding some code to the head of my site's homepage to verify ownership for Google Search Console. Let's go ahead and head over to my Google Search Console where I've already added my new property. And I have a number of different ways that I can verify this site. I'm gonna choose the HTML tag option. And you can see here, copy the meta tag below and paste it into your site's homepage. It should go in the head section before the first body section. So simple as that, I just copy this code, head back over to my site. Now in this case, just my home page. I'm editing the home page, so I want to add it to my page head. So by viewing the page head, I then paste the code. I click OK. Let's make sure we save those changes. And then go back over to my Google Search Console and click Verify. Ownership verified. I was able to verify that ownership because of that code that I added to the pages, uh, excuse me, the home pages head tag. Now that I'm done, I can go ahead and manage that property accordingly. These are just a few of the examples of how you can edit or add HTML code. If you have a question about adding code to your own site,
be sure to reach out and we'd be happy to help out.